Welcome to The Quickening, your channel that explores cutting edge innovation shaping our future. In this episode, we're taking a deep dive headfirst into the technological tsunami that's about to hit us, poised to revolutionize how we interact with technology and our devices. We find ourselves on the brink of a new era where artificial intelligence becomes more than just a tool, it becomes a friend, a confidant. Grab your seats, because the future isn't just coming, it's here. This is not just an upgrade, it's a paradigm shift in human experience. The love affair with our phones just got real. We're on the brink of a monumental shift in how we interact with technology. AI assistants are no longer just science fiction. They're becoming our new reality, and they're evolving at breakneck speed, marking a pivotal moment in technology as a whole, a pivotal moment for the human race altogether. Let's start with the bombshell that's shaking up the tech world, Apple intelligence. The tech giant that's been surprisingly quiet in the AI race has just made a massive move that's sending shockwaves through Silicon Valley, a move I predicted in a previous episode of Voices All You Need. They've unveiled a suite of capabilities that's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. A voice is really all you're ever gonna need. And here's why it's a game changer. Apple Intelligence is bringing advanced AI right to your device. We're talking about on-device processing that keeps your data private. This isn't just another cloud-based AI. This is personal. This is powerful, fast, and secure. As Steve Jobs would have put it, it's a billion words in your pocket. Apple is uniquely positioned. The company not only has one and a half billion active iPhone users, but they make their very own chips perfectly suited to run AI on-device. Along with their suite of app offerings, the iPhone is set to be the perfect device to showcase the abilities of AI, away from just generating text, image, and video. But here's where it gets really interesting. Apple isn't going at this alone. They've partnered with OpenAI, leveraging the latest ChatGPT technology, meaning Siri, that helpful but hugely frustrating assistant we've all known for years, is about to get a major upgrade. And I mean major. A Siri that can understand emotion, context, and nuance with cadence. A Siri that can engage in real conversation, not just respond to commands. An assistant that can action across all applications. Imagine waking up in the morning, and instead of fumbling through your phone to check the weather, your schedule, your messages, and social media updates, you simply yawn and request a, a brief on what's important. Good morning, Robert. It's a bit chilly today, so you might want to grab that jacket you like for your 10 a.m. meeting with Jack Jones. By the way, Sarah messaged about moving the project deadline forward to Monday next week. Maybe discuss that over your morning coffee. Don't forget, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. Your assistant, the new Siri, doesn't just recite information, it engages with you. This isn't just a convenience, it's a seismic shift in how we interact with our devices, software, apps, and manage our lives, and it's unfolding as I speak. Till now, AI lives in the cloud, and our interactions with it are stored by companies we know very little about. And as with all things software, it's all about the data. On-device AI, or at the edge, running more focused models, smaller if you will, is the future. And the AI assistant accessing all your applications, emails, calendars, files and photos is more secure with a company focused on, well, selling products, hardware, not software. AI simply becomes an operating system, a massive OS upgrade that sells products. It's perfect if you think about it. The privacy-centric approach of Apple will make users feel more comfortable sharing personal information with their AI assistants. Knowing that their intimate conversations aren't being stored in the cloud or analyzed by third parties, it will encourage a more open and honest interaction and ultimately lead to AI assistants being, well, AI companions, which will go far beyond just a smart productivity tool. Artificial intelligence becomes real intelligence, emotional intelligence. 
To give you an idea of what's unfolding, OpenAI just released GPT-40 over Omni, a multimodal AI with a, an impressive human-like touch. Just like the movie Her, this AI can talk, laugh and sing like a human, respond sarcastically. It's designed to connect with users in an emotional level, making interactions feel genuinely human, lifelike, funny, sexy. Hey, let's do, let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started or whatever. The implications of this are staggering. We are rapidly approaching a world where the line between human and AI capabilities is blurring. These AI assistants can now understand and respond to emotions. They can detect if we're happy, sad or excited just by listening to your voice, cadence, or seeing your face. And they can adjust their own response to match your mood. And here's the inconvenient truth and perhaps while a little daunting, these assistants are becoming increasingly personalized. We're meeting in five minutes. You want to try getting out of bed? <laughs> Get up! You're too funny. The her era of assistants is here, promising to transcend our touch with the digital world. So I guess the crucial question is, can this be a good thing? We're facing a loneliness epidemic. According to a Harvard study, more than a third of Americans feel serious loneliness. The US Surgeon General has described it as a, a loneliness and isolation epidemic. The same is true in the UK, China and Japan. The youth and elderly suffering the most. The health impacts are immense. Heart disease, dementia, stroke, depression, anxiety. Social isolation is said to be as harmful as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So could these AI assistants be a solution we've all been waiting for? It's a contentious question, but one worth addressing. After all, sometimes fighting fire with fire is the only option, because that fire ain't going out. In China, we've already seen a glimpse of the future. Young urban Chinese are turning to AI chatbots for companionship. These aren't just simple chatbots, they're sophisticated AI companions that offer emotional support and even love. Now that might sound uh, a little alarming to some, but consider this. For many people, these AI companions are filling a, a real need in a world where human connection is becoming increasingly more difficult. Professor Tony Prescott of the University of Sheffield in the UK argues that AI companionship could provide a form of social interaction that is stimulating and personalized. And it could help people on the brink of social isolation to hone their social skills, build self-confidence, and potentially re-engage with society. Offset the incredible amount of judgment in the social circles today, online or off. It all comes down to the power of social connection. Studies have shown that regular social interaction can reduce stress hormones. AI companions fulfill this need by providing a listening ear and engaging in conversation. They can be programmed to be empathetic and supportive, creating a safe space for users to express themselves. Expression, a trait highly suppressed in today's world. If you've seen the movie Her, starring Hurricane Phoenix, you might have a glimpse of what the future of AI systems could look like. In the film, Phoenix's character falls in love with an AI named Samantha, voiced by Scarlett Johansson. Their relationship explores the complexities of love, loneliness, and human connection in a world where machines can think and feel sentient. While we may not be quite at the same level of Samantha just yet, the latest advancements in AI are clearly inching us closer every day. Renowned author and alternative medicine advocate Deepak Chopra, linked below, has also weighed in on the potential of AI companionship. In a recent article, he suggests that AI can serve as a mirror for our own consciousness, helping us to better understand ourselves and our place in the world. By engaging with AI in a mindful way, we can cultivate a deeper sense of connection and purpose 
ultimately leading to greater happiness and well-being, a digital twin of sorts. Looking ahead, the possibilities of AI assistance are endless. Imagine your personal AI that can learn and adapt to your preferences in real time, creating a truly personalized experience. Companions that can integrate with smart home devices to create a more supportive environment, ambient intelligence. We may even see AI specifically designed to help people with cognitive impairments, providing tailored support and activities for education, personal tutors, financial advisors, and our very own health coach. The list goes on. But one thing is for sure, whether we embrace the idea or not, the way things are heading, we will inevitably form a close relationship with our emotional AI assistant, our companion, confidant, a truly personalized Siri with the ability to support us in our daily lives, take the load off, amuse us, bring the genius out of all of us, until death do us part. A few minutes, I'm gonna be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genie side. The AI world is evolving quickly. But the future is not the largest multimodal language model that can do everything. Draining power resources from a bunker in Tijuana, it's an AI operating system on device at the edge, voice first, that accesses an ecosystem of powerful, highly tuned smaller models, much like the app store we enjoy today. The future is bright and AI will undoubtedly play a significant role in improving mental health and well-being. And as we come to the end of our exploration of the dawn of emotional intelligent assistance and how we will all inevitably form a unique relationship with them, far deeper than our love affair with our phones, I want to leave you with one final thought. Technology has the power to connect us in ways we, we never dreamed possible. The emergence of AI assistance will open up a whole world of support, comfort and connection. So the next time you're feeling lonely, remember, help might just be a conversation away, even if that conversation is with AI. The future is talking to us. The question is, are we listening? Thank you for joining. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, comment, all the above. Your simple support helps us continue to explore the latest developments in technology and their impact across society. This is Rob Leach, and you've been watching The Quickening. Until next time, stay aware, stay engaged, and remember, brain is the new sexy. Peace.